Well, welcome back, folks. Back out on the beach. It's been a couple of weeks. Uh, been doing some family stuff, been a boat life. If anyone went out there and saw the uh, the boats out there, jumped on board the Mikhail's Squidward Freeze boat. Absolutely lovely fishing craft, that one. Um, but anyway, yeah, back out on the beach. Got a lovely invite from David from Facebook group, YouTube fishing videos, keep our beaches clean. Check it out. It'll be in our... Uh, well, we're in my description, actually. I'll put it in there. So, uh, Boscan Pier. Can't wait to get on there. Never fished Boscan Pier. There it is. This is, and, uh, pull that way. Let's just turn you around. Southbourne that way. And as anyone knows who watches my videos, it's been to Southbourne plenty of times. I'm told there's a few plates coming out. So hopefully, We'll bag a few up. I'll show you the rigs just before we get onto the pier. I'll show you what I'm going to use. I'm just using something a little bit different this time. I'm going to give it a go. Wayner from Cosham Anglin said, "Try this." He said, "He said, give it a go." I said, "Go on then, I'll try it." It's a bagnell bar with a spoon. Let me show you. Well, I'm in the boot of my car, as you can see. So I thought to show you the rigs, but. Just let me tell you that I'm set up wise. I'm just going to use. I've got two beach casters and, and one uh, light spinning rod. I'm probably going to use just the one beach caster and use uh, the spinning rod as well for just basically for chucking out and banging the lead back with with the spoon on and uh, see what happens. So uh, got a bit of noise here from cars, but rig wise, I'm using this one for the. Uh, beach caster which is a wishbone rig if you watch my Brighton um, video you'll see how I've set this up but it is a wishbone and yeah there it is there's the rig basically all nice and slim lined a few beads a few uh, spoons um, there it is I'm not gonna go for it now check out my other video tells you all about it <coughs> The other setup I'm going to use, which I'm going to use on my spinning rod. If I get all the tangle off it, it's not... Ah, oh, stop it! Look at it! It's always the way, isn't it? Any bit of a tangle and you can have it. So, nice and simple. Works an absolute treat down on the boat. We're on a pier. Not too similar to a boat, I suppose, in a way. We're out in the water. Ain't got to cast too far. And there it is. Weight on the bottom. A small trace no longer than i'd say six to seven inches plenty of beads a few uh, spoons stop knots as well to slide them up and down to adjust your beads and literally all you're going to do is i'm going to cast out and bounce it along leave it for a bit bounce it along leave it for a bit bounce it along and that is normally an absolute deadly rig for the old place they really do love it so Gonna give that a go, it works on the boat. Why wouldn't it work on a pier? Let's see, let's see. But let's show you the rig that Wayne from Cosham Angler, Wade Corbin, check out his channel. Um, Bagnall Bar, I've not set it up with the actual uh, trace or anything like that yet, the snood, and a spoon. Now, the idea is again, right at the very bottom, snood coming off here, bang it up and down, and that's flicking around like that, making plenty of noise trot it along and see what happens the other idea could be instead of having the main line up here and the spoon sort of up there and you know flicking around like that actually take it to the top of the big bagnall bar let the spoon rattle around like that a bit more of a tractor maybe who knows we're gonna give it a go we're gonna give try both methods on that and see what happens will it work won't it work who knows? That's the good beauty of fishing, isn't it? You never know what's gonna work. One day it will work, another day it won't work. But we're gonna give it a go and see what happens. It could be a complete disaster. It really could be a complete disaster and we completely blank out and it's like Pfft. But there we go. Hopefully uh, it's gonna bag up today and we have a successful day. I'm gonna show you some place and, uh, and have a great time. Anyway, see you out on the pier. Well, I'm on the pier. One rod out. There we go. 
just one beach caster out. Just sent it that way, probably about 30 yards. There's no point going for millions of miles, is there? We're out in the sea anyway, being on the pier. And uh, I've got one rod with my bad knob bar, my spoon on the very top. That's what we're going to try it this time round. Trace, as I said, a few bees. Literally just going to flick it out and then we're going to trot it back. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to check behind me, make sure there's no one behind me. There's not, so that's great. Always check behind you, just a gentle flick out. And uh, we'll see what happens, eh? It's new line on this reel, so it's a little bit loose, a little, little bit wild. But uh, yeah, so we're just going to give it a bounce up and down and trot it towards the pier. And this is exactly what I do when I'm be uh, sorry, boat fishing. Trot it along, knocking it down, so I go knock, 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 like that, and then leave it. Right, so I'm going to leave that for a little while and see what comes of it. There may be nothing that comes of it, but it don't matter. But it's absolutely brilliant being out here. It's gorgeous. Yeah, I was going to have a show of you down into Paul. Paul in a very distance there. Bournemouth Pier in a very distance. Northeasterly winds and absolutely flat, calm seas. What more could you ask for? And uh, there's the end of the pier. There's a few joggers around today as well, so uh, I'll just keep an eye on my, on my uh, lead when I go for the cast, like any good person will do. And uh, there we go. Got David setting up as well. He's got a couple of the old black rock rods as well. We know since um, I've converted mine to low down. You may have seen it, you may have not. Um, Definitely much prefer that for my fishing. Anyway, let's get to it. Let's see who's back in the place. Nothing as yet. No one behind me. Gentle flick out. And we'll start the process again. I'm literally just flicking it. I'm using a uh, Hooligan, H2O, and it is how many grams is this? It is a 7 to 35 gram lure rod, 2.4 meters. It's actually quite nice, That's a nice light rod in, in my hand, it's doing a little bit of something different. Oh, I think I just had a bite. Anyway, if I catch anything, I'll be showing you, won't I? Well, folks, first cast out, 
And look what I've got. Back of the net, a place. On the, up, on the old beach caster, wishbone rig, black, black and greens. It's only the size of your, well, just over the size of your palm of your hand. But it's a lovely place. He's taking it down a little bit, so he's, he's going to take a little bit to get him unhooked. But nevertheless, it's a fish. So they're here. Beating the blank, I'm absolutely over the moon, and first cast. Is it going to be one of those days? Let's hope so. Well, I'm just underneath, not quite underneath the pier, but next to the sort of pier, if you like. So I'm just going to give it a jig and see if uh, anything can uh, materialise just here. You never know. They might be hanging around the sort of pole areas. Just going to leave it for a little bit now. The pier's starting to get a few more walkers and joggers as uh, everyone's getting out of bed, I suppose. Well, I've been uh, messing about with the bagnall bar, spoon at the top, little trace, nothing's happened so far. I'm going to unclip. and I'm going to leave the spoon dangling like that. Now, will that make any difference? So, it's going to be jingling like that, bouncing along. Let's see if this makes a difference. Anyway, let's get it out of there. Gentle flick. And we're away. Happy days. Let's see if this makes a difference. Well, <coughs> Davis just bagged himself a little place as well. Happy days. Little, that's huge. That's huge? No. Specimen, mate. Uh, get bigger than that. I'm <laughs> sure they do. Anyway, looks like you're using a free hook flat. Free hook flapper. Free kind of hook flapper. Uh, chicken eyebrow. A chicken? Chicken eyebrow fish. Oh. There we go. Happy yeah, days. Yeah. <laughs> Chips. Chips. Yeah. Well done, Dave. Nice one, buddy. Nice to see that they're here. And hopefully, there'll be a few more. Well, that's it, folks. Just about to reel this rod in. Reel the next rod in and call it a day. I've had a good six-hour session here. And uh, it's just not quite kicked off as good as I thought it was going to. But that's fishing, isn't it? It's nice to be out. It's been flat seas. What more can you ask for? Just the one place. David, who was with me, He's had the one place, but there we go. But the rigs I've been using didn't work, but it's not to say that they don't work because of obviously fish may not be biting. If they're not feeding or biting, nothing's going to work, is it? So uh, anyway, that's me done. Tight lines, everyone. Hope you liked. Don't forget, give us the old subscribe button a push. Absolutely free. And uh, I look forward to seeing you again.